What's happening, world? What up, Slaughter Gang? How y'all feeling, man? Top of the top of the top of the day to y'all, gang. Top of the day to y'all, kings and queens out there today, man. How y'all feeling, man? I'm doing excellent myself. I'm doing quite exquisite myself. You feel me? If I may add, um, man, 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 man. Some news in the city, man. Some news in the city. It was a 12 year old. Boy that was beaten, man, by his granddad. Uh, because I guess the granddad thought um the boy took some money or whatnot. Now, hey, um, I don't know how true that is, but give me a second, gang. We're getting right back to it. Anyway, yeah, I don't know how true it is as far as the little boy stealing money, man. Uh, the family, you know, when he hit the news, breaking news, man, the family basically saying the little boy wasn't even like that. He 12 years old. You know, they took him to his grandfather's house, spent some time with his granddad. Uh, I guess the granddad, you know, allegedly, uh, and this, I can't even say allegedly because this shit true. It happened. You feel me? It happened. The little boy did. He lost his life. The granddad in jail. But basically, you know, the granddad, you know, accused the boy of stealing some money from him, man. Uh, uh, he chased the boy around the house. The boy ran in the room. The granddad popped the hinges. I mean, he ran in the bathroom. The granddad popped the hinges off the bathroom door. Proceeded to beat the boy with a cane. Then he beat the boy with a hammer, man. The boy go to the hospital and he died. He also beat the eight-year-old brother, the little brother. You know, now, if y'all ask me, gang, this shit is by far out of control. I don't know what was up with that. What the fuck? And I'm going to repeat it. What the fuck made the granddad... Do what the fuck he did. I don't even know what the fuck the man was thinking about at the time, gang. I heard a story about uh, like this. Not not exactly like this, but in my city, it was a man who killed his whole family due to the fact um the girl wouldn't give him uh, half of the stimulus, man. The stimulus money. That's around the time that stimulus check was first hidden for this COVID shit, man. And this was in my city. The man killed everybody, the whole family, his family. You know what I'm saying? And And the shit crazy. You know, and um, like I said, I don't know what made the granddad do that shit, beat the boy over some money. Hey, and then on top of that, the police also find out that the granddad also committed another murder. He killed another young boy back in 1989. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like, what the fuck? This nigga just running around killing motherfuckers. You feel me? Like, come on, man. And he wasn't convicted of it, you know? The daughter, she get on the news, you know what I'm saying? And she speak, and she like, damn. It's crazy because she see this happening all the time to kids around the world, man. But she never would have believed it would be her dad, you know, killing her kids. And that shit deep, that's on a different level, gang. You know, like the family supposed to love one another, man. Off that alone, off that story alone, I started thinking. I said, damn, I ain't sending my kids no motherfucking where. Me personally, I already don't trust motherfuckers around my kids or me to send my kids nowhere. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't even leave, like leaving my kids with nobody to watch. I don't give a fuck if I got to run to the store. I don't give a fuck if you, I got to run, uh, 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 go get the mail off the porch, motherfucker. I don't even like leaving my kids in nobody's hands that I really, truly can't put nothing past, honestly. I don't give a fuck if it's my brother, my sister, my cousin, my aunt, you know, my uncle. I ain't leaving my motherfucking kids because... You know what I'm saying? As a father, my nigga, as a father who got the custody of the kids, my nigga, that's my job. That's my duty. I supposed to be with the motherfuckers 24-7, gang. I ain't dropping them off nowhere. That shit right there can be the last time you see your shorties. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't be thinking like that. A lot of people don't be thinking like that, man. Let me put this cancer stick out, gang. I got to light this smoke up. A lot of people don't be thinking like that, gang. It's like, you got to watch who you trust around your shorties, man. You can't let your shorties go anywhere. You can't be trusting anybody with, 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 with uh, your shorties' lives. You can't you can't put their lives in the hands of anybody, my nigga. That shit will go treacherous. It will go left field fast, you feel me? It would. And, and as y'all can see, my nigga, in my city, that shit did go left field fast, my nigga, for a young family. The granddad had to be a bitch-ass nigga. And do that shit over some bitch ass money. Well, honestly, you know what I'm saying? He a bitch ass nigga and that nigga should ride him in hell. Hopefully somebody fucked that nigga over when he get in prison. I mean, doing something real bad. 
do him dirty. I don't want to wish nothing like that on him, but my nigga, you, you, you injured a 12-year-old child, a harmless child, who can't possibly defend himself, who can't possibly do nothing else but expect you to love them in the way he thought you possibly did love him, Grandpa. But, Grandpa, you took it upon yourself to beat this boy over some stolen money. You don't know who the fuck stole your money. It could have been one of them hypes. He probably was dope dating because, honestly, y'all, the granddad looked like he was on some type of drug. And if I'm correct, I believe they found some drugs in that motherfucker. You feel me? Like, like you, 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 you hurt a harmless child, man. That child ain't asked for none of this. That child ain't asked to be placed in this world, my nigga. That child ain't even know he had that coming, gang. You feel me? And this probably ain't the first time he's been to granddad's house. You know, moms probably drop these kids off at her dad's house frequently because he, she trusts her dad. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Pawpaw showed that he couldn't be trusted. And he killed one of the babies. And he got the other baby in the hospital still to this day fighting for his life. And that shit just sad. It's sad to me, gang. And, you know, that news is, 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 is echoing all through the city right now. You know, along with other news that's echoing through the city. But that right there was touching. Because I got kids myself, and I can't imagine me sending my kids to my mom's house, you know, with uh, with uh, her and her husband. And, you know, something happened to my son or something where uh, her husband beat the shit out of my kid with a husband. I mean, with a uh, hammer. My nigga, I'm going to go kill him. I'm going to have to. You feel me? You're going to have to. Not saying that, you know, like, I just think like this. Or no, I love him. I love him. I, definitely, I love the shit out of my step pops. But at the end of the day, my nigga, this is my child. And if an adult thinking like that, you want to hurt my, my child, my nigga, hell yeah, I got I to gotta knock you off like ASAP. You got them adults out here with them hidden genders towards these kids. Me personally, I love the fuck out of my kids, all three of them, gang. And won't nothing ever change that. It's some niggas out here, my nigga, who can't say the same. I see niggas daily like this who can't say the same in my city. These niggas don't give a fuck about these kids. The thing is, I do. See, so we got to start learning how to watch our kids, man. Watch the circle, you know what I'm saying? And watch your, your, your surroundings, man. It be the family, too. Watch your family, man. Stop trusting everybody. Stop putting your trust in all the family members. Them motherfuckers ain't trustworthy. I see it time and time again. Them motherfuckers ain't trustworthy. A lot of your family you got ain't trustworthy. You got to watch them, man. Them motherfuckers got hidden agendas, too. You know what I'm saying? I got some in mind. They got hidden agendas too. Everybody ain't perfect, gang. And nobody perfect. But at the end of the day, we got to learn to love these kids and protect these kids, my nigga. You feel me? That little boy, it's, it's school start tomorrow, man. It's friends and, and, and other people that was waiting to see that little boy. Now he ain't going to be here another day to live. To see nobody but that bitch ass nigga. He is. You feel me? He going to be in jail though, but he still get to take another breath. <laughs> he still get to eat another meal. <coughs> he still get to watch TV again. He still get to drink another drink of water. That little kid don't. That little kid don't. That little kid dead as a motherfucker. And that shit crazy, gang. But you don't see no marches through the city. You don't see nobody marching for this little boy. And that's what's crazy. You don't see nobody marching. You seen them black people get killed like what last week? You know what I'm saying? By the police. Now, everybody talking about they want to put some more BLM shit together. Man, listen. Fuck that shit. We got shit going on in the hood, my nigga, that don't nobody know about, my nigga. The YouTube don't even know about. And it's good that <clears throat> motherfuckers like me hit the YouTube, my nigga, and upload shit like that that's going on in the hood. Real shit that's going on. Real news. <laughs> like, honestly, fuck them celebrities, gang. They rich as hell. Fuck them. I don't give a fuck about their lives. That's why, low-key, I don't be... I, I honestly start recording shit like that. Y'all go back to my videos, you'll see a couple videos I was recording shit like that about celebs and all that good shit. But, end of the day, I slowed down on that. Because it's shit in the hood that don't nobody know about. It's shit in our own hometowns and cities, my nigga. Right around the corner from you. Right around the corner from me, my nigga. That don't nobody know about never hear. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't even watch the news. So, how in the fuck they gonna see a lot of this shit? Some people don't even adventure through the hood. So, how they gonna see a lot of this shit? Some people don't even lead a career. You know? At the end of the day, these are the words we need to get spreaded, man. Grandpa was bogus as a bitch. You know what I'm saying? You got to love your loved ones, man. Definitely these kids. These kids is our future. You got to teach them. You know what I'm saying? You got to treat them right. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure they got all the knowledge in their head. They know everything. Because, my nigga, they got to grow up themselves. And they got to... 
they got to fight this world themselves. And it's a wicked world out here. So you got to prepare them, basically, with the armor, the shield, and the suit, my nigga, so they can go out here and fight for themselves and defend themselves. Because us as parents ain't going to always be around, gang. We got to get old, too. You know, us as parents ain't going to always be around. So <clears throat> it's like, man, we got to do better. And uh, the condolences go out to the young lady, man, who lost that uh, young boy, man, who got beat. You feel me? The prayers goes out to your family, young lady, if you ever happen to run across this vid or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't, man, it's the it's the thought that count. Like, me and God know, you know what I'm saying? The prayers goes out to your family, young lady. You feel me? Um, and uh, may Paul Paul get what he deserved, man, behind that. that That's crucial. That's, that's real crucial. That's gruesome. You feel me? Um... At the end of the day, though, gang, shit, <clears throat> man, if y'all haven't subscribed, man, hit that subscribe button, man, you know, and if you have subscribed, gang, go ahead and hit that like and that share button, you know, for me, I give you a little bit of time to do that. Okay, y'all, y'all did that, y'all smashed that like and that subscribe, okay, most definitely. Man, it's all love, and like I said, y'all, y'all gotta watch your circle, man, before they hurt you. Once again, watch your circle before they hurt you, man. Watch your kids, watch your family, man, and stay dangerous, you feel me? You gotta stay dangerous out here. You never know what's coming around the corner, gang. Stay prayed up, too. Stay prayed up, stay repenting out here, man. A lot of niggas ain't gonna tell you that, but I am most definitely. Hey, to the next video, man. Corner Slaughter out.